Come, you idiots, leave me alone, leave me alone. Get out of here. Come on, all of you, go. We received numerous pleas from the residents of this neighborhood, as well as reports from patrol units and the police about a young woman who was once in good health, respectful, beautiful, and without any medical issues. However, her condition suddenly deteriorated, leaving her unaware and disoriented. The residents are now struggling because she appears in the street without clothes and verbally assaults passersby. We live in the house opposite to Sherry Han, and we have been greatly troubled by her. She would throw stones and empty bottles at us, in addition to frightening the young children and constantly quarreling with them. One of the things Sherry Han does is bang on the doors of houses, damage the walls, and break the glass. I am one of the people who has been greatly affected by her. She has broken the glass of my house three times. This child says one time, she grabbed me by the neck and tried to kill me. Now I can't leave the house without my father because I'm afraid of her, and he has to accompany me to school. This child says, twice she threw stones and empty glass bottles at me. If I hadn't rushed into the house, the glass bottles would have hit my head. Things happened beyond imagination and belief of the human mind, from breaking doors and glass to the point that one time she wanted to slaughter her daughter with a knife. We decided to visit her house hoping to have a conversation, but she flatly refused. Instead, she unleashed a barrage of insults upon us and the program staff. Despite our repeated attempts to calm her, she erupted into a fit of screams and forcefully expelled us from her home. We explained that we were there to help her, but she continued to spiral out of control. We tried every possible way to soothe her, desperate to prevent the situation from escalating further. In a moment of conversation, we asked her, is this your daughter? Would you let me kiss her? The aim of this question was to break the tension and open the door to a renewed dialogue. Our top priority was to protect the little girl, who is just eight years old. The main reason we came to Shirhan, with 98% certainty, was for this innocent child, who is the first and last victim in this situation. She possesses nothing, not even the necessary identification documents. She doesn't live like other children and has been deprived of her childhood in this place that is utterly unfit for human habitation. Moreover, she endures daily torture and the piercing screams of her mother. Therefore, it was imperative that we rescue this child from the hell she's living in and the despair surrounding her. She deserves a better life, one filled with hope and joy, and she deserves to experience her childhood in peace and safety, far away from all this suffering. With great difficulty, we managed to convince her to accompany us to the specialized hospital for mental and psychological illnesses, to receive the necessary treatment and to recover her mental and emotional well-being. It was essential that she regained her health so that she could safely return to her daughter and care for her properly. Her recovery is not just about improving her own life, but also about rebuilding the maternal bond that her daughter desperately needs. We all believe that with the right treatment, she will have a new opportunity to live with dignity and peace, and her daughter will have the secure and stable future she deserves. The doctors at the hospital received us warmly and reassured us about her condition. They confirmed that her treatment would be completed in a short time, thanks to the specialized care she would receive. They promised to give her special attention, recognizing the delicate nature of her case, and would ensure the best possible environment for her quick recovery. This anticipated reunion with her daughter is not just a return of a mother to her child, but a new beginning for both of them. With this treatment, the mother will be able to reclaim her vital role in her daughter's life, 
providing the warmth and love that had been missing for so long. We hope that this treatment marks the start of a hopeful and renewed chapter for them both. The child was placed in a children's care home where she will receive the special care and attention she needs. In this nurturing environment, she will be surrounded by new friends who will bring joy and comfort into her life. This supportive setting will help her heal from the injustices and abuse she suffered at the hands of her mother. She will begin a new chapter filled with hope and the chance to create happy memories, allowing her to finally experience the childhood she deserves, surrounded by love and security. Don't forget, my friend, to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell to receive real stories.